This is a spring trap. Now, these are legal to catch animals like rats, stoats and weasels, but they have to be set inside a tunnel or a cage which is restricted at each end so that animals like birds and pets can't be caught. Now, on grouse moors, these are used as a rail trap where they're basically set inside a cage over a stream uh, which are tended to catch mammals as they pass over the trap. Uh, we become increasingly concerned about birds being caught in these traps, both traps set legally and illegally. In May 2019, this young tawny owl, which would have just left the nest, was found dead in this illegal rail trap on the Gunnerside estate in North Yorkshire. As you can see, the entrance to this trap is far too big and enough for the owl to crawl inside. North Yorkshire already has the reputation as the worst UK county for raptor persecution, so another death due to professional malpractice like this is totally unacceptable. And there have been previous problems on this estate, including the killing of a ring goozle. This is a red-listed bird in serious decline. And more recently, in 2016, a kestrel was killed in a spring trap. Last year, this young merlin was killed on a grouse moor in Northumberland and a gamekeeper received a police caution. This year, we've had numerous reports about illegal rail traps, which we've passed to the police in North Yorkshire, South Yorkshire, and this one in Lancashire, and we're still waiting to hear back what's been done. Now, the police dealt with the toenail incident by words of advice to the trap user. We don't think this is enough. These people are professional pest controllers and should be setting a really high standard of compliance. We want to see more consistent approach from the police and more meaningful action in cases like this, so this tawny owl and other birds are not being needlessly killed.